everybody. So today I have a slightly different video than the one I have usually had with um, making cards. And today I'm going to be talking about how to make some really cool um, teacher gifts. And I say teacher gifts, but they could really be used for anybody. And I tend to like them um, for teacher gifts, for teacher gifts, excuse me. I tend to like them for teacher gifts because um, they're fairly inexpensive. I think they're useful, they're personalizable, and um, there's something that I think everybody can appreciate. I say cheap, but that also does not actually take into account the cost of uh, getting the foil pens. So these are a We Are Makers um, uh, product, and they came out with this a few years ago, and um, I have really enjoyed using them. Um, and I found that you know they they were originally advertised just for like making cards and stuff, um, but I found them pretty useful for other things, and particularly this one gift that I will tell you about in a moment. Um, the set that I got had these four all together in it. So you can see, I don't know if you can see quite, this is a fairly thick round um, kind of point to it. This is a really tiny point, very, very kind of delicate on that one. This is kind of a medium round point, and this is kind of a calligraphy point. Now, of these three, I really have found myself using just these two the most. Um, and if you were just going to get one, I would suggest the medium point one. I found this one the most useful, especially for the technique that I'm going to be doing, um, which is to be tracing some stamps. So this is what we are going to be personalizing today. So this is kind of a, a moleskin dupe, if you will. Um, it's a nice little journal. Um, it has, you know, lots of pages. So this one, don't mind it too much. I'm using this one as my example because I did do a little water damage to it. Um, so this is not going to be given as a gift. This is one that's just going to be for me, um, but I thought I'd use it as the example. So there's just, you know, nice lined pages here. Um, it's got a nice little folder in the back here that you can put lots of sorts of things in. Um, it's got the, uh, it's got this bookmark with it um, and it's got, the band. Um, and I really like these. Uh, they feel really substantial. They feel really nice. They feel like like a nice leathery, um, and I know it's faux, but it still feels very, like a very nice leather covered journal. Um, and so these are a good knockoff for uh, the moleskin journals, if you have ever had any of those. They're very similar. Um, and I know people tend to like those. So I find these are a nice gift to give teachers because obviously teachers always need a no good notebook. Um, and if you give it with like a nice pen, this is one of my favorite pens. This is a Tombow, um, very, very nice, uh, writes very, very well. It's a very smooth writing pen, if you can see there. Um, and I have terrible handwriting, um, kind of have the handwriting of a serial killer, I always say, uh, but um, it is very smooth writing. So if you're going to give a gift, this is a really nice little gift to give, I think. Um, but teachers also, you know, really like the um, the different felt pens and, uh, you know, giving this with a with some nice pens and maybe a few chocolates or candies and stuff like that would be nice. Um, so one thought I have always had is, you know, you can go ahead and if you have like a school mascot or something like that, you could put the mascot on there. You could put a teacher's name on there. Um, you could put whatever you like. Um, for this, you do need foil that is specific to um, using with these pens. So there's lots of different types of foils out there. Some of them that you can use with like the mink or a laminator or toner or the glimmer foil and stuff like that. Um, and this one is just one that you would use specifically for this. Um, and there might be others that you can use. You might be able to double dip on some of them, but you know, I just feel like it's better to just use the one that um, the company says to use with it. It doesn't cost that much more. Um, I like the ones that are kind of this matte gold. I feel like it gives it a nice luxurious finish. Um, some of the other ones I feel like can be a little too shiny for my taste, um, but the matte gold is nice. Um, but you know, there's so many different foil colors, like you could do it in your school colors. You could do it in whatever colors that you wanted to. So I'm just going to do a little experiment for you. Um, just to show you how it works just on cardstock before I get started. Um, and so whenever I think about doing this, I'm thinking about, 
you know, what design can I use? Because I am not skilled enough to trust myself to just do something just freehand. Um, there's some people who do fantastic work freehand. My friend Courtney, um, that you might see in some other videos, um, is a great one. Uh, we do uh, we took a calligraphy class together, and she was great, and I sucked. Um, but uh, so I have to use like a stamp or something on it. But stamping on this foil is actually not that easy because obviously the um, kind of plastic is going to uh, resist any stamping on it and then it's just going to smudge. Um, so for this, you want to use a stamp ink like stays on. So this is a solvent ink and um, that's not to say it doesn't go ahead and smear at all. It still does a little bit, but a lot less than another type of ink would do. So go ahead and to tape this to whatever card you're using. Um, and so as you're thinking about different types of stamps to use, ones that have um, kind of like a free flowing design, kind of like this can be nice because any mistakes that you made would be hidden fairly easily. Um, and there are others like this that have like more straight lines and straight edges. I don't know if you can kind of see what that is. It's kind of a house. These are both Simon Says stamp uh, stamp sets. These straight lines can be a little bit more difficult, especially for a beginner. I still consider myself a beginner on this. I'm not terribly proficient. Um, but you know, if you're, if you're somebody who is not quite certain about your skill in keeping your lines straight and everything like that, something that is more organic looking um, and has like more organic lines and stuff like that might hide any mistakes a little bit better. So I'm gonna try that. So with this, I'm just going to go ahead and do an example for you. Just a really simple, simple one. Okay. All right. And I stamped this on, I, I taped this down on a couple different sides. Ooh, that, that is a strong smell, let me tell you. That is a very strong smell. But you do want to tape it down on all sides to prevent as much movement as possible because it does tend to shift quite a bit and you really want to make sure that it doesn't. Okay, so I'm going to use the solvent here. Let's put the little rosebud on there. And even though this is my example, it won't go totally to waste. I can still use this element in a card. Okay. a while since I've used solvent ink. So I've used this ink at all. Okay. So you can still see it there. Didn't come out super, super great. This ink is a bit old. Um, but it's enough that I can see what the what the image is. I should have probably gotten some more solvent ink, but this is not an ink that I'd use very often. I really only use it for this purpose. Um, so it's, it's normal that it would dry out since I haven't used it very much. Okay. And again, it doesn't need to be perfect. All you need to do is be able to kind of see it so that you can go ahead and, um, and make sure and see what the image is. Plug it in. It just has like a USB charger. Once it's plugged in and it gets pretty hot, it does get pretty hot. So um, there have been times I've thought about like using a stencil with this, uh, but with a stencil, you risk really, um, you risk melting the stencil because this does get so hot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this here. And you can tell it gets, when it gets hot enough, Until it gets hot enough when the foil is kind of sticking to the paper or whatever surface you're using. And that means that it is sticking. And so you do need to be taping this down on all sides, like I said, because otherwise as you're doing this and you're, as you're pulling, the, um, the foil will tend to come up. So. That's okay. That's why you want kind of an organic image uh, so that any, any little snafus aren't that big of a deal. 
So and it's pretty straightforward. It really is just tracing. And you do want this pen to be as hot as you can. Um, otherwise, obviously, it's not going to work and you're going to get some pretty inconsistent results. And as with any heating element, you just want to be careful and mindful of like where you lay it down and when you plug it and unplug it to make sure that you are not accidentally doing something that could start a fire. That is always one of my fears with any of the heating elements like the heating guns, glimmer foil machine and um, these foil pens and stuff like that. Because I don't know if um, I'm the only one, but I tend to have like a limited number of plugs in one area. So I have so many of these elements plugged into extension cords, which is not the greatest thing in the world, right? Like you're really not supposed to have a million things plugged into an extension cord, but um, you know, obviously I'm not using them all at the same time and try to unplug them when I'm not using them, but you do what you can. Okay. So that's just that little image there. And let's pull this up. And there you go. So I think that came out pretty nice. Um, and this is really permanent. Like I've made several of these little notebooks and stuff before. Like this does not come off. This stays like, even if you're like, you'd have to really, really scratch it and be rough with it to actually, um, to actually damage it or take it off or anything like that. So whether you're using this for a card or whether you're using it for, uh, something like the notebook or something else, um, you can trust that it's going to be staying on pretty well. So let's go ahead and we are going to try that with the notebook. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this foil kind of to size. And I do always save all my foil scraps and stuff like that because, you know, it's not cheap and it can always be reused. So because this is a fairly large image, I'm going to go ahead and use my um, stamp positioner to go ahead and make sure that I can get a good image, even if I have to do this several times. Okay, and it doesn't damage that size. So this really does have two sides to it. So you wanna make sure that you use it on this side, which is the plastic side. And then this is the actual material that will end up, and you can definitely feel them. Um, this is a little more, um, it's not rough, but there's definitely more of a, like a, I wanna say like a tin foil kind of feel to that. And this has more of a plastic feel. So I'm gonna go ahead and whew, it does, stick very easily. I'm going to go ahead and stick this to my stamp positioner. And this is, you know, I won't lie, the foil is a little bit difficult to work with just because um, it's so thin and so delicate. But, okay. Well, see, I think it got, it got a little sticky and on the other side it, it peeled off a little bit of that, but that'll be okay. Okay. I'm making sure this is on the clear side. Oh, and in the meantime, this is like very, very hot. Like this is, I just ran my hand against it and it is very, very hot. Okay. So hopefully I can get this all in one go and I don't have to redo it, but here we go. Yeah, my stamp pad is pretty, pretty dead, you guys. I really should have taken a look at that before I started on this project, but oh well. We will hope that that works. And it did not. Okay. Okay. So this is not perfect in the slightest, but that is totally fine. We don't need to be it to be perfect um, because this is not going to be our final image. So. That is totally, totally fine. And this is why we use a stamp positioner to try and get it back in the same spot once more, right? Okay. Okay, so that's a pretty good image. Oops. And I did go ahead and I used, because the stays on was not working, I did go ahead and use the Hero Arts Intense Black. I do think this is probably going to, um, smear a little bit as I go along doing this, but again, since it's kind of an organic piece, hopefully it won't 
uh, matter too much as I'm uh, doing this. Okay, so I'm actually going to have to cut this down a little bit to be able to um, attach it to my notebook just because it is a little too big. Um, and as you see here on this one, you can see that uh, some of the foil did come off because it got stuck to the tape. So that is something you do want to be a little mindful of. Um, so I'm leaving enough space so that I can still tape it on, but taking enough off so that, um, ah, see, and it's already starting to smear a little bit there. Okay. It does have a tendency to roll up on itself and hopefully this has not smeared too much. Again, guys, you get to see the real deal. You get to see the real work in real time um, and uh, all the mistakes and everything that goes along with it. So I don't know if I mentioned this stamp set that I used is an old one from uh, Simon Says Stamp and it is one of my favorites. It's one that I use all the time, all the time. It's one that I keep going back to. Um, the sentiments are just beautiful and um, and I don't remember what the actual name of it is. I will see if I can find it because I know sometimes you can find some of, of the old stamp sets on eBay or wherever um, if you if you like them. And I think actually they may have, uh, even though this was like a stamp of the month, I think they may actually have done it as a um, as a standalone, so you could do that. So for this, you do want to tape it up as much as possible, like I said, because otherwise it just moves so much. Um, so whereas sometimes when you're stamping, you can get away with just taping up a little bit. You do want to tape up as much as possible when you are doing this. Okay, so where my inclination would be, you know, as, as a, somebody who's a reader and somebody who, you know, um, you know, in, in the Western world, we read top down. Um, that would be my inclination is to start here, but I'm not going to do that because if I do, my hand is just going to smear this the entire way down. So I'm really going to try and avoid doing that and hopefully avoid smearing as much as possible. Now this is really, really hot. I can definitely feel it. It doesn't burn or anything like that, but you definitely want to avoid touching the tip um, because you, you could possibly hurt yourself. And I'm just going to go slowly here. And the level of detail that you use is really up to you. Like whether you want to get every single fine little line or whether it's enough to just kind of get the gist of it, get the outline. Um, and those of you that are able to just kind of freehand stuff, I totally admire you and I am very jealous because that is not a skill that I have, which is one of the reasons I like stamping actually. Um, it's a way to make art without necessarily having to be too talented in art. I don't know if you feel that way too, but that's why I feel like I can still make beautiful things and um, I don't have the kind of self-judgment that comes when you are going ahead and trying to create something completely on your own. And the other thing I have seen people do or say that it works is um, use tracing paper placed over this um, and then it doesn't smear as much. Uh, but I found that the heat doesn't quite go through as well and it doesn't go through nearly to the um, to the foil underneath when you use the tracing paper on top instead. And you know, in doing this, you just have to know this is going to be imperfect. It's going to be fine. And you know, the, the handmade nature of it is what adds to the charm, right? That's why we like to do it. It gives, gives that kind of handmade touch that says like, hey, you're important to me. I took time out of my day to make this for you in particular. So those of you that have um, like alphabet stamps and stuff, uh, you could definitely, you know, stamp somebody's name, uh, stamp their initials, do like um, monograph and, uh, you know, make something really, really personalized. like you know, Mrs. Trombley, or, you know, if you've got an art teacher, maybe you could put like 
paintbrushes or something on um, her notebook or an English teacher you know if your handwriting is is uh, fine enough you could go ahead and you know maybe write a quote from Shakespeare or something like that um, so again I am using the pen tip on this that is the medium pen tip um, I found this is the best kind of I guess medium, uh, medium choice. Um, the fine one I found was just too fine. You didn't get too much of an image. And the, the one that was bigger than this, I found that you um, just ended up kind of getting a muddier image. So like I said, if you're going to get one, this is the one that I would get. And I know mine isn't perfect. And I am going ahead and um, you can kind of see, if you can, see how it kind of starts to stick to the to the book and you can kind of see where you've gone over so b before you're done it's good to kind of just give a once over of all of the different lines oh like see right there like I missed that spot so I'll have to go back over that but you can kind of see where the lines have really stuck where the foil is sticking to the um, to the notebook and areas that you might have missed I'm gonna go back over that little leaf that I missed. I think I missed a few little details on that one. And as you go along, you'll start to see that for all your best efforts, it does start to wrinkle a little bit, which can lead to different spots that don't have um, all of the foil on it. But So you can just go back over those little pieces. And here, and if you can see, it starts to get a little bit muddy for me because I've gotten over them enough times. And the tip starts to get a little black because that ink comes off on it because I was not able to use the stays on ink. And even with the stays on ink, I'll be honest, um, it does tend to come up, but the stays on does work better than the other types of inks. I don't know if I mentioned this notebook that I got um, came in a pack of 10. Um, and they were all the same, I think, but you can have some that are different colors. I know Amazon sells them, um, you know, so again, you could get the notebook itself in like school colors or something. Um, you know, I'm just thinking, uh, you know, it might be great for like, I don't know, like even like a Girl Scout troop or something like that, um, you know, to have like, you know, personalized journals or for like a kid's, uh, you know, our teens' um, birthday favors or something like that. You could do one with all the kids' names on it. There's just really no limit to what you can do with this because it's just the same as using a pen. Um, now, you wouldn't be able to use this like on a glass surface. I'm pretty sure you can't. Um, but any type of surface like this or cloth surface, not cloth surface, but this kind of faux leather surface works really well. So this is slow going. So if you had a lot to make, it might be a lot, but you know, Christmas is like six months away, so you could get a head start, especially if you know your kids' teachers' names and stuff. Um, I don't know about you, but like, it's never just one teacher, right? Like, so we have, you know, I have my kids' main teacher, and then I have, you know, the speech teacher and the occupational therapist, uh, the special ed teacher. Um, and we have the music teacher, the art teacher, the school guidance counselor, the um, art teacher. Did I already say art teacher? Anyway, all the different, the gym teacher, all the different specials teachers and stuff. So if you're one of those parents who has the time and energy to go ahead and get gifts for all of those teachers, which they definitely do deserve it. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm, I, teachers deserve everything. Um, but it can be difficult to try and recognize everybody and also not break the bank. So that's why I do like this. So I think I got, when I bought these, I think it was like a pack of 10 notebooks. Um, and I think it was like $40 for that. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, it might be a little bit more than that now because the price of everything has gone up, uh, but it still is pretty reasonable in comparison. So, you know, for, you know, four or five dollars, like, you know, five dollars if you're like including um, 
like a nice pen or something like that. You get a nice pack of like the uh, the felt tip pens that teachers tend to like, and I like too. Um, you can go ahead and have a really nice gift. I'm actually adding a few lines here that aren't even on my on my stamp because you know this is yours. You can go ahead and make it however you want. And I also tend to like to add a few little details, maybe like stars or um, because I hate wasting the uh, the foil. And this piece is you know used enough that I won't be able to reuse it. So I'm gonna try to get as much foil. You can see it start to smear a little bit here, but that's. Okay. I'll be very interested to see if any of you guys decide to make something like this for yourselves. I really want to see the, um, I really want to see what you make. So please, please tag me in whatever it is that you go ahead and make because especially if you are able to do something with um, the more delicate fine lines or you are able to uh, do some nice writing on there. I'd love to see what you're able to do. In some places you can kind of feel, see how the paper is kind of rippling a little bit. You can kind of feel it as you're going along with it. And you just want to make sure you put a little extra pressure on the spots with the ripples to make sure that the, um, that the image gets put through onto the other side. Okay. So, just taking a double look at this, making sure that I didn't miss any spots. I missed kind of these interior lines on this. And I'm just going to go ahead and do like little, little glimmer dots. And when I say these are good teacher gifts, but they're really good coworker gifts too. Um, like I gave one to my administrative assistant, uh, and. Um, I think I've got a picture of it. Uh, her last name is Oaks, so I put an oak leaf on hers. But it's the type of thing, like, who doesn't need a, uh, a notebook, right? Right. Okay. Alright, so now that this is done, I'm going to go ahead and unplug this. I want to make sure that this gets unplugged unless you're going to be using again very quickly, but I'm only doing this one today um, as an example and I'm going to unplug this to make sure that I don't start a fire. Um, and I don't know if I showed you previously, but this just uses like a standard like USB charger. Okay, fingers crossed that this actually worked, right? Egg on my face if it didn't, but I think this should have worked just fine. And you do want to take this off a little bit carefully um, and try not to take all of the tape off at once uh, because what you can do if you do find as you lift this up that there's certain spots where the um, foil did not go through you can gently put it back down and try and redo it so as i'm doing this i don't know if you can see as i'm peeling this you can see where the foil attached. So if I needed to, I could go back, you know, kind of put this back in place gently and redo any of that. How satisfying is that, you guys? That is super, super satisfying. And there you go. There you have it. No smearing. It is completely, completely on there. And it does have a debossed feel. Um, this feels really, really rich, really special. Um, and again, you could, you know, put somebody's name, somebody's initials, all sorts of stuff. Um, you could do the back cover with something else if you wanted to. Um, you could do like a thank you from your kid. Um, you know, you could print something, you could have your kid use, if they're old enough, use this themselves and actually write like, you know, thank you, Mrs. Smith, um, you know, love Johnny or whatever. So 
You've got the both sides there. Um, and you could put something on the inside too, because again, like this is, you know, used for just regular cards as well. So you can go ahead and decorate it any way you like. So with all the stamps that you've got, really the sky is the limit for what you can do with these. Um, and I hope you like it. I hope that that is something that you find useful. Um, and yes, please go ahead and let me know in the comments, put a link in there if you decide to try this out yourself, because I really want to see what you guys make with it. Okay. So have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I really appreciate you watching and, uh, please like subscribe, share, and I will see you next time for some more crafty fun.